Um, you know, it's uh, semifinal time, and so it doesn't have to be any sort of style points involved. It's win and move on. And um, you know, I think our, for the first time all season, we've come back from a deficit, and it's something we've talked about as being mentally strong enough to be composed in that moment. We have a lot of, of older players in the back, especially, and I thought we did a good job of staying composed. And you know, you knew once Kristen hit that first one that it was it was going to build and confidence built as the game went on. Um, you know, and the, and the kids are excited and, and looking forward to Sunday. Obviously, last year things didn't necessarily go your guys' way. You know, you, you lose in the semifinal. How much did that, that fueled your team? And then when you go down early, you know, and how much you kind of deja vu all yeah, over again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we, um, we we only talked about it from the standpoint prior to the game that, that, that getting here was 12 months in the making. So on this day last year, you know, we, we um, you know Western beat us and. In a soccer, in a random soccer way, a few shots, one goal, and you go down. Um, and then when it happened, but again, we, we had talked about composure and mental toughness and staying in the game, and we've got a good attacking team, and it's going to hard to regularly keep us off the board. And the further we go, it's going to be harder to score. But um, you know, the kids came through, the forwards came through, especially. How was your team able to rally together after they take that early lead? Um, I think it's just composure from back to front. Vicky's composed, been here before. Um, you know, Natalia has been in really big environments before and that wasn't going to rattle her and Danielle stay composed and that spreads into Anna in the midfield and then Kristen up front and then, you know again your, your, your senior leadership your juniors it, it matters. What does that say about uh, the depth of your team that you get two underclassmen that close out the game for you like that and get goals the way they did? Um, you know we, we, we train and we try and train at a high level high tempo we demand a lot of all of our players and um, you know um, We've been fortunate to recruit a couple of very good forwards in Nicole and Rachel and uh, the younger players, and Kristen's been very good for us as well. So, um, you know, that's the kind of stuff we expect from our players, and they expect from themselves. The only team in the MAC this year that had three players with 14 points or more, two of them scored today. How important is it to have that consistent presence on this? Um, you know, big players make big plays in big games, and I don't think that necessarily depends on class year. It depends on you know, ability and, and desire and, and all of those things play into it. So whether they're sophomore, freshman, senior, it really shouldn't be uh, that big of a, a difference. You'd expect more of your seniors to have more experience in these moments, and that's where I think the composure came from. The finishing might have come from some younger players and, and Kristen, but the composure came from the older players. If you could talk about the way you guys came out in the second half, the energy. Well, we just talked about it at halftime, just the things that it, it – we have to tweak a little bit how we can try and get behind and, and whether that was effective or not for us. I, I think it created some momentum. Whether that directly related to the goal or not is, is immaterial. It's getting the game flowing in a positive direction for us. And, um, you know, I thought the midfielders and backs did a really good job of actually slowing the game down for us. We were very frantic at the early going, and that's not necessarily the best thing for us. Um, and so I thought Natalia and Danielle and, and uh, listen, Rachel did a good job of slowing the game down out of the back and allowing us to create some space for ourselves up front. How big was it that Rachel got that goal pretty early on in that second? <laughs> well, you know, um, that's Rachel. That's why she's an offensive player of the year. You don't know when or where it's going to strike. And, again, big players make big plays in big games. And, uh, she was able to come up big today, and, you know, Sunday it could be somebody else. Um, but that's uh, it's, a, it's a good finish by her. Three good goals for us today. You got the Mac regular season title again, but how good does it feel, especially after last year, to get to the, the tournament championship game? Well, at this point, it, it's you know, win it or not, it's it's not a better feeling to get to the final. We've got a game to play Sunday, and so there's really no let up, or you don't want to say, "Wow, we've done this." This is, you know, hope is our program. This is where our players and team tries to get every year: regular season champions, champions, and tournament champions. And this is just part of that journey. Thanks, Brad. Thank you. All right.